everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And uh, this week I'm back with another watercolor project. Um, I've gone back to the swing set. So I love this little swing set. It's really, really versatile. Last week I did the, uh, the basic image here. And this week I'm gonna go back to the basic image, only we're going to just use part of it. So the stamps are really versatile. And um, if you think about it, you can think of a lot of different creative ways that you can use it. So we're gonna use part of it here, and then we're gonna use this little tire swing right here. Okay, we're gonna create this little fall scene. Super, super easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of stamps and really, really quick and easy. So in addition to the swing set, we're gonna need a couple of things. So one of my favorites, the branches, we're gonna use this little guy here in the foliage set. So foliage set four, we're gonna use these little, um, these little grasses, either one or both, you can use both. And then in the full set, uh, these two, so the little flowers here, and then this little kind of dried up branch, we're gonna use that. And then in the midi flower set, the little dots right here. So again, remember that you can switch all of these things out and use what you have. You can use a little bit or a lot, so that just kind of depends on your, uh, your choice and your style. So let's get going on this one. And we're gonna start out, of course, with the basic image. And like I said, we're only gonna use part of it. So we're just gonna ink up half of this and not this swing in the center. So only this little L shape right here. And because it's wood and because it's old and rustic, we're gonna do two colors. So that would be the dark blue and the dark brown, 565 and 969. And we are going to start with the blue. And I'm just gonna go about halfway and be careful not to ink that, um, that little swing that's on there. And then come back right over it again with the brown. So just like this, just like that. And I'm going to stamp it off because I want to um, make sure I don't get too much ink on that. And now I'm ready to stamp it onto my basic image onto my watercolor paper, excuse me. Okay, so there we have it. We've got our little L shape, and uh, it looks a little spindly here because uh, we don't have the rest of it to kind of weight it down. So I'm just gonna take my fine tip, and I'm just gonna draw a little line uh, right across here, and don't stress out about that. And it's just kind of a reinforcement on here, make it look like it's a little sturdier, and I think it kind of adds a lot to the design. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna start out by adding water, and that would be to pull the color out of the lines. And I'm gonna start with this under here. I don't wanna to do too much of it because I do wanna add some things along the side and around it. So I'm just gonna do just the basic uh, bare minimum here. And I can come back and do a little bit more of this once I get my flowers in my foliage in. Okay, so now let's go on to that tire. We're gonna add that little tire in, and we're gonna use those same two colors again. This time we're gonna go brown first, dark brown, and then blue over the top of that. We want it to be a little more gray, and that's why the blue second. And I'm going to turn it. So if you look at my original, I've kind of got it blown in the wind. Adds a little more interest. Now, of course, you can hang that straight down if you want to, but I wanna show you how to do this. Kind of fun to just change it up a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it, and I'm gonna swing it out a little bit. So just like that. That looks good. So let's go ahead now and add everything into our little frame here. And I'm gonna start out with this, these little branches, and I'm gonna ink them in a um, more of an olive green. So this is number 98, but of course you can use uh, any kind of a, a warm green. And I'm just gonna kind of just stamp this in wherever. I remember to get that in a bunch of times. And I'm just gonna kind of hang this over kind of fades off, so we don't really know where the end of this little frame is, and that's okay. And just in here like this. Maybe just a little bit more out here. And actually, I think I'll put just a little bit more down here. Okay, so you can, uh, of course, use as much of this as you want to use. Now I'm gonna add, uh, my, my little vine with my kind of dried up little leaves here. And I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use that dark brown this time. And you can see I haven't used any water yet. So I'm gonna kind of mix all this together when I add the water. 
So I'm gonna kind of just put this kind of wherever I want to again. Just kind of grow these dried up little leaves. It's fall, so we've got a lot of this going on. And just maybe a little bit down here. Remember, you can just ink up parts. So you don't have to, you don't have to get the whole thing. Okay, so we've got our vines in here, starting to look a little more like fall. And I'm going to come in now with uh, my little dots. And I'm using a brown, so this is a warm brown. And you can use, like I said, you can use um, lots of different things for this. So I'm just using these little, these little brown dots to just kind of add some little uh, seeds or buds, kind of things that are dried up, looking more like fall. And just tap in as much of this as you want. Okay, that looks good. Let's add some water now to it. And we're just gonna kind of tap it in here like this. So we're kind of mixing up all those colors. That's kind of how we're getting this fall palette going here. Just kind of, just kind of dabbing, uh, not too much water and no brush strokes. So you're just dipping your brush in water, pinching it off, remember, and just kind of touching all of these little things. And you can see that color just kind of all kind of mixes in, kind of comes together, starts looking like a little painting, and that's exactly what we want. And now we can kind of add some of this color in here to the side, give this a little more dimension here. And really we do that second because we don't wanna fight these lines. You know, if you add too much color in here in the beginning, it's hard to stamp over the top of that. Okay, so I'm gonna add some color now into the background. And I'm gonna turn my I'm gonna turn my paper a little bit. It's easier for me to kind of brush this in. And I'm going to add some color now to my palette. And this is just the dark blue. And I'm just gonna kind of start out uh, really lightly and bring my brush down this way. So just down like this. And we're just giving the idea of of the wind blowing. Just like this. And then let's bring some more of this color into the top up here. This is blue, so pretty. It always looks good with this orange and browns. And I always think about a fall sky being just bright, bright blue. So now I can come back in here a little darker and I'm just gonna put a couple of streaks in here. Just like that. And just add a little more color down in here. Just kind of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead now and uh, go on to this little tire and just start pulling this color out. And I'm going right along these little ropes here. And this is a contour here, so we wanna see that, that light area because this is, this is all rounded. So I wanna see that highlight on here. And then I'm gonna take my dark and really darken in this area here. So this is the dark brown. And you can see how that really, really kind of pops that up. And then I'm just gonna use my good old fashioned pencil, which I just love. I use this all the time. And I'm just gonna kind of tie it off here and then bring this over just like this. And then we can add a few little things in here. So just to kind of uh, give it that idea that the wind is blowing, let's just clean this, this little guy off. And then I'm just gonna ink, I'm gonna use that brown again, dark brown, and I'm just gonna ink this little part here. And maybe just stamp that in here. 
and maybe this, this little part here and ink that one like that. And then let's go ahead and do something down here on the bottom so we can add our little uh, branches or excuse me, our little grasses. And I'm just gonna use this brown. So this is the light brown. And you can put in as much of this course as you want. Add a little water. And then we want to see, uh, we want to see a shadow here where this little swing is. And then I'm just gonna add a little of this shadow in here. This is just that same dark blue. Just add a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a little color in here. And that's our little, this little fall, fall. Um, it's almost like a, like an apple blossom or a cherry blossom. So I'm using my red to get the blooms and my dark brown for the stems. And I'm just gonna put it in here just a couple of times and go back over it again. And turn my paper. Don't be afraid to do this because it really does uh, help when you're stamping things in to kind of turn things. And then maybe one more time. And maybe just the blooms. And I'll just put it up in here. Maybe one more. And I'll just add some water to it now. Just touch it. And remember, no uh, water on the stems. You don't have to add any water to the stems. They will just kind of do their own thing. And I think I'm gonna come back in here now with these little dots and add something a little darker. So I'm gonna go back in now with a dark brown and just get a few more of this in here. And then just touch it, especially with these little dots. Like they're so tiny, you don't need to do a lot. It's, you know, it's almost kind of, um, it's really easy to overdo things. And I think that's probably the biggest mistake I see is people trying to overdo it. Don't be afraid to leave those white spaces. And you know, if you're not sure, just be done and go back to it the next day, you know, and look at it. And I betcha uh, you're gonna wanna quit. So don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Okay, I'm gonna add just another little bit of brown here onto this little section. And I think I'm gonna take my fine tip, so this is my fine tip on the brown again, and darken in this color so that it just kinda looks like there's a little board here. Make sure I've got this really dark in here. Like that. And I'm gonna take my pencil again because this thing works so great and just add a little detail to these posts. So just a few little lines like this. And then across here. This is totally up to you if you wanna do this part. But a pencil just works great. And you know what, if you hate it, you can always erase it. So love that about it too. Okay, and I think we are about finished with this little project. So one thing left to do, and that of course is to sign and date. And put it on a card or put it in a frame, and give it away. You're gonna make someone's day. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.